All right, so this is 5-1, part two. So let me take off these thumbnails. There we go. All right, so there's a couple different um, ways we can express the equations. Even I'm not sure if you recall, it's probably many moons ago at this point, okay? Uh, we have equations that were y equals mx plus b form, which was like what we were doing yesterday, like this, right? Where this is our slope and this is our y-intercept. Do you remember that? And then do you remember equations like this? Vaguely, maybe a little bit. Kind of. I think it was kind of when you were, you know, virtual, maybe. Yeah, see. I know things were a little bit more difficult back then. All right. So we're going to do a little review for that. So no worries if you don't recall it. Okay. Um, Louis, do you recall some of this stuff? It kind of looks familiar, right? So this is another way uh, that lines can appear. So the first way was called slope intercept form. And then this, this is called standard form. Okay standard form okay so let's look at number one now when equations are in standard form ava all right here's what we're going to do we're going to do something called the cover-up method all right and what that means is we're going to cover up one of the variables okay so let's focus on the top equation so i'm going to scribble out this equation right now so we can really focus in on that top equation so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up that y. Do you see that 4x equals 12? All right. 4 times what, Ava, is 12? 3. Another way I could have found that out is divided 12 by 4. See the 3? Now we're going to go down to our x-axis, and we're going to put a point at 3. OK? Now, Eva, instead of covering up the X, I'm going to cover, or instead of covering up the Y, I'm going to cover up the X. Do you see the equation that's left? The 2Y equals 12. 2 times 1 is 12, Eva. 6. Where I do 12 divided by 2, you get 6. And then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to put a point at 6 on my Y axis. All right, now I have two points. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line. Okay. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. No. Let's see if I get it. Yeah, there we go. So Eva, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my straight edge and I'm gonna connect the two points. Chucky, is that okay with you? Did you connect the two points? Louie? You get the highlighter. Yeah, I'll get it. All right. So now that I've graphed that one, notice it's in another color, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncover that. And I'm going to graph this one in red. So now I'm going to really focus in on that bottom equation. And I'm going to do the same thing. All right. Doesn't matter which one we find first. So, Grace, if I cover up that 2x, do you see that? What's left? Cover up the 2x maybe with your finger or pencil. Do you see it? Do you see how I'm left with negative y equals negative 10? Now, negative y, where were you? I was just talking about the same story. All right, can you go get a pass from Sawyer? All right. See how it says negative y equals negative 10? So I have to get y by itself, so I have to divide by negative 1, and I get y equals 10. Are you still with me, Grace? 
Okay, so you go up to 10, to 9, 10. Now I'm going to put a point there. And now, Grace, I cover up that y. See, I have 2x equals negative 10. So I'm going to write 2x equals negative 10. And I'm going to divide by 2. So x equals negative 5. So I'm going to come down here and put a point at negative 5. And now I have my two points. Okay. Uh oh, I think they both changed color. All right. Do we see where they cross, Tyler? They cross right there. Tyler, what's that point where they cross? So look closely. So first, Tyler, let's count the blocks. Ready? So we count left or right first. We count. We we count left or right first. Okay. So I'm not saying we count left or right. I'm just saying that's the direction we go first. So we go one block to the left, right? That's negative one. Got it? Then how many blocks up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's negative one, eight. Okay? You guys all right with that? All right. Okay. So let's do the same thing here. Ready, John? We're going to focus in on that bottom equation first. Okay, I'm going to cover up that 3x. So I have negative 3y equals 9. Do you see that, John? Now, what would y equal? Close, negative three. So everybody, we're gonna go to where y is negative three. We're gonna put a point. Thanks. All right, and now what we're going to do, John, is we're going to cover up that y, and now we have 3x equals 9, and now x is 3. Are you okay with that? So now we're going to go to 3 on the y or x axis, and I have my two points. Okay. So I have my two points in my line. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus back in on that top equation. All right. Ready, Joey? Cover up the experts. What do I have? 2y equals. What does y equal, Joey? Now remember, we have to divide. Oh, wow. Three. So we divide everything by two, we get y equals three. So we're going to put a point at three on the y axis. Now, Louie, I'm going to pick on you for this because I gave you a pen. Okay? Louie, I cover up the y. What am I left with? Four x equals eight. Now, What do I do to get x by itself? Now, does that work out perfectly, Louie? 
Now, what would X be? No, what is six divided by four? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. One point five. Now, Louis, if you had to tell me where one point five up was on my graph, where would it be? Where is that? Describe it to me. You would describe it to me. Where would one point five be? Not up one and a half. What two numbers does one point five occur between? One and two. One in, in the two. middle. Oh, in the middle of one and two. How much in the middle? Halfway. Halfway. That's what I'm getting at here, Louie, is it's got to be exact, right? We have to be really exact. Agreed? Otherwise, like, if we're off by a little bit, just like Call of Duty, right? And you're off by a little bit. You, yeah. Somebody, they get you, right? You don't get a second chance here. So, Louie, it's between one and five, exactly halfway between. So we're going to go exactly halfway between one and five and put our point or one and two. Sorry. Thank you. Louis, are you okay with that? Now I'm going to take my line and I'm going to connect those two points. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is not a good day. Now, Louis, do you see why we had to be so exact? Because they cross. Where do they cross, Louis? One, two. Not one, two. Remember, I told Tyler. No, it's okay. Remember, I told Tyler we count the left or right first. So we're going to count that two first. Now, did we go up or down, Louis? Down. Down. So down is negative, right? Oh, uh, negative. So it's going to be two, negative one. All right. Okay. Now these are yet a little bit different, correct? Chucky, would you agree these are a little different? Now this one almost says Y by itself, right? What's in front of the Y? Two. How do we get rid of that two? What would I do? Divide. So Chucky, what I want you to do is I want you to divide everything by two. Okay, I'm just bringing my work down. All right. So let's divide everything by two. Chucky, with six divided by two? What's eight divided by two? So we have y equals three x plus four. Okay. Where do I start? You start at the four. So you go up to four, you're gonna put a point. Now the three, remember is a set of directions. Like if I'm trying to get my friend who's at um, what used to be Buddy Burgers, I believe it's that like uh, sandwich shop now, the same people who own uh, Riddle Ale House. Okay, you guys know where that is? The steak shop in media. Dos Gringos. You guys know where Dos Gringos is? You guys even go to media? I don't even go outside. Yeah, I can tell. So, Lily, the three is a set of directions. It's like I'm trying to go from the Wawa in media, okay, to let's say, um, like where uh, fields, okay? So like you gotta go, 
you would tell your friend, you'd be like, yo, you got to go up two blocks and then you got to go to the left, like three blocks. Okay. This is a set of directions. It says go up three blocks, one, two, three, and to the right, one block. Okay. Does everybody see that? It's a set of directions three over one, up three, one, two, three, to the right, one. Now we're going to connect our point. So I draw my line. Okay. This one. Now, Grace, do you see how this one is really close to being both types? It's, it's in like standard form, but it all also almost says Y by itself. Would you agree? How would I get Y by itself in this one? How would I get rid of that positive 4X? Well, let's think. What's the opposite of addition? So we're going to subtract that four x. Are you okay with that, Grace? So we have y equals negative four x minus three. This says, just like the last one, start at that number. So we're going to start at negative three. And Tyler, what are the directions on here? Is it positive? Uh, down four. Down four. And to the right one. One, two, three, four, and to the right one. Now we're off the graph, right? Correct? We're off the graph, Annie. So my line looks to be going this way. Agreed? Does everybody see that? So if my line's going this way, it means I have to have a point up here somewhere. Kind of think of it this way. I have to go down into the right one from some point over here to get to that point. So how would I work backwards to get to this point? Tyler, what's backwards from down for? One, two, three, four. What's backwards from right one? Right, backwards from right, left. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, four into the right or left one. So notice I have I have my points. Look, see how my line my points are all on like a line? See that? Joey. One, you can do this. Okay. Maddie, where do these lines cross? Right there, right? What what point would that be? I heard one. Negative one and one. Very good. Remember, we go that left or right first, right, Tyler? And then the up and down. Okay, let's look at number four. Annie, you made eye contact. Meant that you want, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, you did. Got to answer the question. Where do we start in this one, Annie? Four. So everybody put a point at four. Oops, word is not really calibrated. All right, Tyler, what are the set of directions on that? And to the right, not four. Remember, we have to make it a fraction. So what number can I put below that? Oh, one. Four over one. I know what you're talking about. So where do I go, Tyler? I go up four. to the right one. Very good. So we're going to go up four, one, two, three, four, and to the right one. So I have a point up there, right? Which means, because it's off my graph, my line's going this way. So it means I have to have a point over here somewhere, correct, Tyler? 
So let's work backwards. Up four. One, two, three, four. So I have my points. Let me take my line from over here. All right, so look, right, Tyler, I got it all situated. Here, Chucky. Yeah, notice why is it almost by itself? So Chucky, negative three over two, I can't divide that, can I? So I just leave it as negative three over two x. What about 14? What's 14 divided by two? So we're going to write negative seven, meaning I started negative seven. And this says go down three, one, two, three, and to the right two. But Chucky, I'm off the graph, right? So I have to work backwards. So that means there's a point over here. So let's work backwards. If I go down three, and to the right two, what's backwards from down? One, two, three. One, two. So I'm going to take my line. Maddie, where do they intersect? Negative two and negative, what was it? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. One more time. Four. 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 Sorry, the, sometimes this air conditioner is so loud, can't hear. All right, any questions? No questions. All right, so. This is the IXL I want you guys to do. It's U2. Let's just watch. Okay, let's go over a few examples. I'll put up um, probably a tutorial how to do it. Now, Louie, do you see how I have two different types of equations here? So one of them I'm gonna use cover up if I can. And the other one I'm gonna use that Y equals MX plus B with the starting point. Below, to graph this line, x plus three, y equals six, I click on it. It's gonna turn that color, okay? And I'm only letting you know this because sometimes you forget to click on it and it just kind of makes everything go cattywampus. All right, so let's cover up, Ava, the three line. Do you see how I have x equals six? Okay, if I cover that up, I have x equals six. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to point a point at six. Right? Now let's cover up the x. See, I have three y equals six. Divide six by three. What do I get? So y is two. So now I just put a point at two and it makes my line for me. Okay? Come down here and I click this. Tyler. Where do I start? The bottom one. Where do I start? Where, where? Sorry, I can't hear you over the AC. Three. So we're going to start at three. And now where do I go, Tyler? Down two to the very good. So from here, notice I put my mouse on. I'm going to count down two, one, two, and to the right three. One, two, three. And I connect them. Below that, it says, what is my solution? 
And Maddie's pretty good at this. My solution is where they intersect. It is left or right first. So I go one, two, three. So I go three to the right and up one. So my answer is three, one. Think you guys can handle that? All right. So I wanna see you guys get to a 60 on this. Got it? A 60. So why don't you guys start working? 60. Yep, 60.